Hello and welcome to this VMware Application Catalog demo. VMware Application Catalog, formerly known as Tansu Application Catalog, is a customizable selection of trusted, prepackaged, open source application components that are continuously maintained and verifiable tested for use in production environments. By default, when you navigate to VMware Application Catalog, you land in the My Applications tab. Here you can see the list of applications. In our example, we have created a pre-populated catalog for demo purposes, but when you first log in, you will find these two tabs empty that you will be able to populate on your own by requesting your desired applications. Let's add a new registry. Click Add Registry. First, select the provider where your private repository is located. There are three options available. Harbor, Google Container Registry, Azure Container Registry. Enter a name and a description. Then add the URL to connect to your registry and the access key and password. This new registry will appear in the list of available registries to choose when you build your application catalog. VMware provides a curated selection of base images. You can also have an option to add a custom base image of your choice. Let's start to create your curated image library. Navigate to the application section and click My Requests. You will find a summary of your active artifacts and your requests. Also from this section, you can follow the status of your requests. Click the Add New Application button. Select the platform where you want to deploy applications. You have the option to use both Kubernetes and virtual machines. For the purpose of this demo, we will choose Kubernetes and do a deep dive into the virtual machine option in another video. Then pick your base image. Add applications to your catalog. VMware Application Catalog offers Helm charts, containers and operators for Kubernetes. Pick applications from the list or directly search filtering by the type of format. Now select the registry to store the applications. You can also add a new registry on the fly if you haven't done it before. Add a name and a description for your request. Review the details in the summary section. Click Submit to finish the process. That's it. Your request is being processed. Your custom images will be built and pushed to your repo. To check the status of your request, you can navigate to the My Request tab at any time and monitor how many and which requests have been completed. The next step is to discover what is the information that VMware Application Catalog provides for each asset. In the Application section, pick one solution to check its details. Let's review an example Helm chart first. At first glimpse, you can see the base image that each chart is using, the release version, the release status, and when the latest version of the application was released. To check the additional information available for this chart, click Details. In this screen, you find similar information related to the chart version and base image to the one shown in the list of applications, plus the brand. This indicates the regular update that the VMware Application Catalog team has performed to update the components and packages included in a chart or container image version. In the Releases section, you find useful information for managing the chart. First, there are the commands to consume the chart locally. After this section, you can find the Release Process section, which includes the details about the Helm chart, such as the digest, name, version and the URL of the registry where the chart is stored and some important reports. The Validation Reports section provides information about the functional and integration text. I've downloaded the report named Test Result. This report exposes the testing suite that the application passed before releasing. In the Build Time Reports, we find the Asset Specification Report, which contains detailed metadata about the content of the asset, such as name, version, and the list of system packages. 
Since we are checking a Helm chart, the catalog shows in the dependencies section which chart the container images included in the chart and its related information such as the version and revision number. By clicking in any of them, we can also check which is the information that VMware Application Catalog provides for container images. The Container Details page shows similar information as the Helm chart, but with some interesting points to note. So here we can see the commands we need to consume our container locally. After this, in the Release Process section, we can check the container tags. These represent either updates to the base OS or the application upstream project. Under this, we find the test results reports under the Validation section. And finally, four types of build time reports under the build section. Antivirus scan result, which contains information about the antivirus scan process. The asset specification JSON file, which we already checked. The CVE scan result, which exposes the CVEs detected in the system packages. And the vulnerability CBRF report, which includes the same info as the CVS scan report, but using the CBRF standard format. In the Release Relationship section, we see that this container image is not only included in the Apache Helm chart, but also in WordPress Helm chart. And that brings us to the end of this demo. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to use VMware Application Catalog. You can learn more about VMware Application Catalog by checking the links provided on the screen or contact the team directly at app-catalog at vmware.com. Thank you for watching.